right here we have the 365 XL and right here we have the Hellcat Pro. 365 is made by SIG, the Hellcat Pro is made by Springfield Armory. Both of these at the moment are in their 15 round configurations. The 365 XL comes with two magazines. This one is a 15 round magazine. You can see there's a big extension on the bottom. The flush fit magazine is a 12 round. The Hellcat comes with two 15 round magazines which is inserted right now. So you can see that magazine is actually flush fit with the grip, so you don't have any additional extension. Now I'm gonna hold them both. You can see how much more of the 365 XL sticks out. Now you wouldn't think it's a big deal, but the thing is when you're carrying this inside the waistband concealed, depending on your configuration and how you're carrying it, this little grip extension can stick out and print. When I carry this and I carry this inside the waistband, I typically put the 12 round magazine in so it doesn't have that issue of sticking out. As far as capacity and configuration, I'm gonna say the Hellcat's the winner because you can get that 15 rounds without needing a magazine extension. Both of these firearms have day night sights. So you have the fiber optics and then the tritium dot. Another thing that the Hellcat wins in is the co-witnessing sights. And the whole fact with the OSP version of the Hellcat Pro, you have an optics cut right in here. Same shield type cut, except you get to maintain your rear sight still. So if you wanna put taller rear sights in, you want those co-witnessing backup sights, something like that, you can still have that in this configuration. Unfortunately, with the 365 XL, you can see that sight, that optics cut, is on the rear of the slide. So if you're gonna put an optic on there, if you're gonna put a red dot on there, that basically means you're gonna lose your rear sight. So even though you can get all your fingers on the 365 XL, putting in the 15 round mag gives you that much more purchase on it. It makes it bigger though. So let's do a quick 15 rapid fire. Love the 365 XL. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and then let's... Next, we have the Springfield Hellcat Pro. This thing just came out. It's the same size just about as the 365 XL. Here's the 15 round mag, which comes standard with the Hellcat Pro. The 15 round mag actually fits flush with the grip, which is really nice. All right, 15 rounds, rapid fire. Dang. They both feel very, very similar as far as recoil impulse. So this Hellcat did not exist when I bought my 365 XL. And if you guys haven't noticed, this 365 XL, this is the Coyote Edition. This is back to its stock configuration. I've done a lot of upgrades to this gun already between the Faxon Barrel, the Mischief Machine Omega Grip Module. It looks way different typically, but I converted it back to how I bought it for a fair comparison for these two. All right, now as far as shootability. Now again, that's a term, I don't even know if it's a real word, but I've been using it for a lot of my reviews. Shootability to me basically means you can fire the gun easily. It doesn't hurt to shoot. It handles its own recoil, uh, snappiness, all that stuff. That all kind of is shootability. So I'm gonna say they're almost identical. I think if I had to compare the two together, the 365 XL still has slightly less recoil impulse than the Hellcat Pro. Um, I can kind of get back on target a little faster, but one reason behind that, and it could be because I've shot that 365, I've put a couple thousand rounds through this gun already because I've done so many videos on it, testing, trying out new parts, upgrades, all that stuff. I haven't had the opportunity to do that much shooting with the Hellcat Pro yet. So my own personal experience, my own impressions so far basically means the 365 XL is a little friendlier to shoot, at least for me, just because I'm used to it. Another reason I think the 365 XLs, and this is just for my own personal comfort, is right here, you have the slide release levers. The Hellcat slide release lever is right there, right where your thumb, right where my thumb sits. The 365 XL slide release lever is right here, which is just in front of my thumb. 365 XL slide release lever is right here. So when I have my grip, it does not make contact with that slide, re slide release lever unless I'm looking to. Now with the Hellcat series in general, even the other Hellcats, not necessarily the Pro, my thumb is sitting right on top of that slide release lever. So I have to be conscious that it's there, otherwise 
I'm gonna keep that slide from locking back. Now again, I've talked about this in my initial release Hellcat Pro video. Not a problem with the gun. It's just an ergonomic training issue that I'm not used to shooting the Hellcats. That's just the way they're designed. So I've talked to plenty of people that that's not an issue because that's what they're used to shooting. So can't blame the gun for that. Barrels, slide lengths, um, profiles are all about the same. So one thing that the Hellcat wins over the 365 XL is the pick rail. You can see the, the 365 has a proprietary rail right there, whereas the Hellcat actually has a two slot pick rail. So you have more light mounting options. You don't have to buy a unique light that only matches with the SIG rails. Overall, in conclusion for this video, I'm gonna have to say the Hellcat actually kind of wins over the 365. So the 365 to me, the two bonuses again, one of them is a slide release lever location. It's just a comfortable spot. The other benefit to the 365 is also gonna be the shootability. I just shoot it a little bit better. The trigger feels a little bit better than the Hellcat trigger. Not quite as stiff. It doesn't take as much to break that trigger. So this Hellcat Pro can actually take regular Hellcat parts to triggers and all that. They make upgraded triggers for this, but I'm gonna say a big benefit to this is gonna be maintaining your sights so you can have an optic on there if you want and you can still keep your rear sight. The other thing is a 15 round flush fit magazine. So you have a flush fit mag on your Hellcat Pro and it doesn't stick out that far. In fact, it gives you a perfect grip to shoot this. Whereas this guy with a 15 round mag, again, you can see the amount that sticks out on the side. MSRP is just about the same for both as well, which is pretty cool. Overall, I think the Hellcat wins slightly over the 365 XL. However, I don't think you can really go wrong with either. I'm pretty much still gonna carry my P365 just because I've done a lot to it and I've really customized it and made it myself. However, I've decided to also add the Hellcat Pro into my rotation too. I love that size up just above the micro compact level when you get to the XL size level. It's like a micro XL compact. I don't know what you'd call it. I love it. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, shout out to True Shot Gun Club for supplying the ammo for this test. So thank you all so much. I'll see you guys later.